So I had some time to kill here, uh, waiting on somebody, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do my review real quick for Glass, because I got to go see it a couple days ago. And um, I was anticipating it for sure. Unbreakable, I feel like is a masterpiece. Um, Split, it's good. Um, I don't think it's great, but it's definitely good. Um, and definitely showed that M. Night was on a resurgence for sure. Um, I like M. Night most than, more than most people. Uh, there's a few that I just, you know, are horrible and I can't really defend them. But, um, so I was looking forward to it. Although M. Night really, really hurt me when he did the last airbender and completely ruined it. So I always have a little tribulation when we get to go see an M. Night movie. And I just had this weird feeling that maybe this movie was not going to be as great as I wanted it to be. And for the most part, that's true. I mean, I was really disappointed with Glass. Um, are there some really amazing moments? Yes. Um, is there some great acting from almost everybody? Yes. Um, but then there's just a lot of stuff I didn't like. But let's go into the stuff I liked first. First, like I said, the cast is fantastic. Um, Bruce Willis is good in here, I felt like. Anya Taylor-Joy was good for the little part she was in. Sam Jackson, you know, he's not in it as much as you would think, considering the movie's called Glass. But for the parts he is, he was fine in, in the role. Um, I get, you know, his whole stick in the movie. Um, the part uh, that really, really, really impressed, again, was James McAvoy um, as Kevin uh, in this movie. is just fantastic. Um, you get to see it even more so than Split, which uh, to me, it was Oscar worthy of Split. He's even better in this movie. I mean, it, he was made to play this role and he's all his different personalities. It's just really, really good. And, and it's worth the price of a ticket just to see that um, because he's super cool in the movie. Um, Sarah Paulson, she'd be the one that I was like, uh, she's kind of like leading this insane asylum. She's curing people that think they're superheroes. She's the one I didn't like, but it might have just been, I don't think it was really her acting. I just didn't like her character very much. Um, anyways, other good stuff. There are some really cool moments. The first 20 minutes of this movie are fantastic. Um, there are some great shots in this film. There, you, the music is pretty good. The, um, even though you could tell it was a low budget, there was one scene in particular that looked really bad. For the most part, the film looked good. It looked, like um unbreakable and uh split like there was no like visual effects issues for me minus one scene i get that it was trying to be different i will give m night this he's ballsy and different um and you can tell in this movie he was definitely like i'm not gonna make your normal superhero kind of movie that's about the end of my good things for the movie. Like I said, there's a lot of things I didn't like. One thing, the movie is kind of broke up in three chunks. There's the uh, scene at the beginning where you're kind of finding out what Bruce Willis is going through. Then there's this gigantic scene in the middle where you're in the, like I said, this facility where uh, Sarah Paulson is trying to treat these people who think that uh, superhero that they're not superheroes and then there's the end which is kind of this climactic kind of scene and then multiple uh kind of twists going on and i will say like i said the first 20 minutes is fantastic that middle part is slow and i don't mind it, a slow movie i love unbreakable like i said it's a masterpiece and it's a slow movie but it's so slow and it feels like Sarah Polson's character is just doing the same thing over and over and over again. I swear for about 30 to minutes to an hour, she is just constantly trying to convince them that they are not superheroes. And after a while, you know, I get it. There's this whole storyline going through here where M. Night's basically trying to trick the audience while he's trying to trick the characters in the movie. But it never works. You're never tricked. And I think that's the main flaw of the film. Um, because then when you get to the twist in the end, which I also did not like, um, it's not a very good twist because it's, I mean, it's just kind of comes out of nowhere. And you're like, uh, I don't, you know, it's kind of dumb. I, like I said, I don't like the end. I don't like the twist. I didn't like the middle. It was too slow, too boring. Um, and those are my, I didn't like Sarah Polson's character. I just feel like he could have done something really cool here. Um, 
and he just doesn't. It's like he finished the script and he was just like, good enough. He never went back and rewrote it or showed it to anybody and was like, hey, maybe we should do this or this or change it up here. Just went with his gut on this one. And it, for me, it was just severely disappointing. I'll say it. It's not a horrible movie. It's definitely not. Um, it's definitely worth a rent. If you really invested in uh, Unbreakable and Split, obviously you're going to go see this movie. But if you're not, I'd go see Unbreakable, not this movie. Um, it's just very, very disappointing. This is not something I'm going to want to own or watch on repeat because it's not like Split where I may have missed something or the ending changes it or anything. It just, it just kind of meh. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Glass a three out of five, which uh, is pretty crazy. I gave Unbreakable a five out of five. I gave, um, uh, split a, a three or a four out of five, and now I'm going to give Glass a three out of five. So you could tell how I like the films. Um, until next time, this is Rainy Cage. Peace out.